Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez. Show my some t- stuff to talk about. But before we jump in, thank you so much for all your continued support of our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Keep pushing our content. We thank you so much. Let's jump on in. Let's talk about the last seven games involving Angel Reese. You know, we've made a point, or ESPN's made a point to let us know that she's got back to back 20 rebound games. And that is a record. Whoop a dee doo. Whoop a dee doo. Whoop a dee doo. Whoop a dee doo. In the last seven games, Angel Reese has 31 of 95 from the field for 32.6%. 32.6% from the field, 31 of 95. Of those 64 missed shots, I didn't count, but 90% of them are inside of five feet. She also has 40, 102 rebounds. 42 of the 43 of those 42, 43 of those rebounds are offensive boards. Of those offensive boards, 12 of those offensive boards are shots that she missed back to herself. I am not discounting nor diminishing her ability to rebound. I've said for quite some time she has a nose for the ball. She's an outstanding rebounder. But the excessive need to pump up numbers that ESPN seems to want to do every single time is mind-blowing. It's absolutely mind-blowing. If you actually go look or saw after they lost, after the Chicago Sky lost last night, ESPN on their homepage has in the top headlines, this is what the top headlines say. Sky's Reese makes history with 20 more boards. What ESPN forgot to include was that they lost. What ESPN forgot to include was that she went three for 12 from the field. Four of those rebounds, offensive boards, she missed to herself. She missed two wide open bunny layups with no one on her and did not grab those rebounds and did not, they did not get buckets off those possessions and they lost the game 82 to 80. So those two buckets that she blew in the first quarter cost them the game. Now, it didn't directly cost them the game. We know, we know, we know. But if you make layups in the first quarter, you won the game in the fourth quarter. To say it didn't cost them the game is disingenuous. Look, Angel, they're not going to be in the game without Angel Reese. I mean, she had zero points at halftime. She finished with 13 and 20. This damn chair is killing me, man. She finished with 13 and 20. 13 points all in the second half. She was 3 of 12, 25% from the field. Only one shot came from outside the paint. But we're not going to sit here and talk about that. ESPN is going to ignore that. If you want to go a little bit deeper, if you click on the story that ESPN ran, the headline of the story is that Skies Reese first in WNBA with consecutive 20 rebound games. Not that they lost, but that she had consecutive 20 rebound games. What's more important in basketball, winning or a record? I'll wait. I guess for ESPN, it's a record. It's not winning. In the last seven games, the Chicago Sky is two and five. They are grinding. They are a grinder team. They grind it out. They, they, they're physical. They're tough. They try hard. They work hard. They play hard. Never question how tough they, how hard they play. Never question how hard Angel Reese plays. But we've got to stop with the narrative of all these rebounds. It's great. You know what also is combined when you have all these rebounds? Let's take a look. And I haven't actually looked at this prior to now, so I'm going to take a look to see exactly what I'm looking for. The Chicago Sky in against Liberty, they shot 49, 45.9%. 
and the Liberty shot 47%. That was the seventh game ago. In that game, Reese had 10 more than 10 points. You go to the next game against the Liberty again. The Liberty shot 42.3%. Chicago shot 40.6%. Reese finished with eight points and 16 boards. That was the game that the streak ended in. She was three of 13 from the field. People forgot that part. She can't make a layup. Against Vegas, they won that game 93 to 85. Chicago shot 48.6. She finished with 10 boards. You notice the correlation? When they don't shoot, when they shoot the ball well from the field, her rebounding numbers go down. When they shoot like trash from the field, her rebounding numbers go up. The Aces shot 47%. So they didn't have the same amount of rebounds available to her that you typically have. Like I said, she's a very good rebounder. She's a great rebounder. She has a nose for the ball. But she's shooting 3 of 13 in these games against the Mercury. Out of the break. Four for 14, 15 boards, 11 points. They shot 37%. That leaves you lots of offensive rebounding opportunities. When you shoot like shit from the field as a team. Next game versus the Sparks. They were 48.6. She finishes with 11 rebounds. Cardoso has 14. Again, less opportunities. The Sparks shot 39.2%. In this game, she had five offensive boards. Generally speaking, when she grabs a whole bunch of offensive rebounds, it's because their team shoots like absolute trash. Next game, Mercury, 35.9%. She finishes with 20 boards, 10 offensive boards, 10 defensive boards. That was her best offensive game in the past month. She was 8 for 16. They lost by 18. Once again, shoot like shit, lots of opportunities. Their game yesterday versus the Sun, they shot 44.6%. She had 20 boards again, seven offensive boards. She's three for 12. The Sun shot 36.8%. DeWanna Bauer and DJ Carrington combined to go five of 28. Point being, at the end of the day, is yes, she's a great rebounder, but she gets a crap load of opportunities to rebound the ball because her team can't shoot the ball. They are a good defensive team. In terms of they make it tough for most people. So if the other team shoots like trash, she's going to get those rebounds because no one else tries to take them from her on her team. They let, they literally let her grab rebounds. This stuff is, reminds me of when Russell Westbrook had the triple-double for the season where, I mean, Stephen Adams would literally move out of the way from the grab a rebound. But she has 12 more boards that are attached to her own missed shots. Keep saying it, I'm going to say it again and again and again and again. Why are you running offense through Angel Reese? Why is she taking 17 shots in a game? 13, 14, 13, 12. She is not an offensively skilled player. Stop running the ball through the post to Angel Reese. She missed two point blank bunny fast break layups yesterday, and they lost the game by two. You can sit here and say that it doesn't matter. You can sit here and say that, oh, whatever. She doesn't, her job isn't to score. Then stop shooting the fucking ball. If her job isn't to score, stop shooting the ball. Get the ball to the people who can actually make shots. For someone who is six foot three to shoot 32.6% over seven games and miss approximately 55 layups. Absolutely disgusting. It's embarrassing. It's a debacle. It's, it's 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 outrageous. Outrageous. I found this out. I knew, I mean, I knew she'd been shooting like trash, but FanDuel posted this. I'm thankful that FanDuel is not like ESPN, who doesn't find the need to post the rebound in total as a record and make a big thing about a record in a loss in which she shot 25% from the field. But you will keep on telling me that she is amazing. I have said it. She's an amazing rebounder. She has a knack for the ball. She has a high motor. Stop trying to create something that does not freaking exist. Stop it. 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. She is a non-skilled offensive player. Look at this game yesterday. When she was on the floor, they were minus four. They lost by two. You know what that means for you guys who don't know math? It means when she wasn't on the floor, they were plus two. And she played 37 minutes. So in the three minutes that she wasn't on the floor, they were plus two. It's a small sample size, naturally. But Camilla Cardoso played 37 minutes also. And when she was on the floor, they were plus five. Cardoso finished 18 on 8 of 11 shooting. And you wonder why I say run the offense through Cardoso in the post or run pick and roll with Cardoso and Kennedy Carter. And that's why Nick says the same thing on point guard perspective. Run the ball through the post to Camilla Cardoso. When she's down around the rim, she's literally unguardable. 8 for 11 from the field. Why is she taking less shots game after game after game? than someone who's completely inept offensively. It's it's absolutely mind-blowing shit to see. Let's take a look real fast at Camilo Cardoso's actual stats this season. Camilo Cardoso is shooting... Well, this is South Carolina. This is her South Carolina stats. Let's take a look. Find the, the, NBA, the WBA stats. Camilo Cardoso is shooting 51.5% from the field this season. What are we doing? 51.5%, 9 .1, 7, uh, 7 7.7 rebounds. She's taking 7.6 shots per game. She's playing 26.2 minutes. Angel Reese, let's take a look at her season stats. Her season stats, take a look. She's shooting 39.3% from the field. 13.6 points, 12.6 rebounds. Like I said, I'm not going to critique her, her rebounding. She's a great rebounder. Yes, is her, re, are her rebounding numbers fluffed to fucking high heaven with her own personal rebounds of her own missed shots? Absolutely. This last seven games is 27% of her offensive rebounds came off her own missed shots. 27%. If you do it over the course of the season, I promise you it's higher than that. Because there was a sample size I had some time ago where it was like 43%. I promise it's well over 30. And maybe I'll take the time to do that and do another video on this stuff. Because you don't want to believe it. She's taking 12.2 shots per game. She's taking five shots a game more than Camila Cardoso, who shoots 12% better than her. And is better than her in the post. And they'll keep on feeding Angel Reese the ball. You know what happens when you feed Angel Reese the ball? She has a chance to miss and get the rebound herself. It's a fact. And it's been done 12 times in the last seven games. Out of 43 offensive boards. Like I said, she is a great rebounder. But stop putting credit credence to a 20-rebound game when four of these rebounds were shots that she missed back to herself. The game before when she had 20, three of those 20 were shots that she missed back to herself of her 10 offensive boards. So when do you actually put some reality and integrity behind these numbers? There's no integrity behind this shit. And it's laughable that ESPN continues to push this everlasting bullshit. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. What do you think of ESPN's darling child, 31 of 95 over seven games, 32.6% of the field, 43 offensive boards, and 27% of her offensive boards are shots she misses back to herself. While they proclaim, oh, my God, numbers on rebounding. She has them. But they're fluffed to high heaven, and they keep being fluffed, and you keep freaking praising this bullshit as amazing rookie, amazing records. I'm not saying that you might get one here and there, but when it's 27% over seven games, that's a sample size that's pretty freaking staggering because no one else in the WNBA averages remotely close to as many offensive rebounds as Angel Reese. Nobody. And I want to get that number just before we go so I can really actually put this shit out here because it is absolutely mind-blowing. Rebounds per game. She leads the WNBA again. Asia Wilson dropped a little bit. 
offensive boards. She's averaging 5.1 offensive boards a game. You cannot make this up. You know who's second? Leah Boston at 3.1. So it's a two-rebound difference. You know who's third? Camila Cardoso at 3.0. After that, 2.7 from Alyssa Thomas, 2.4 Nafisa Collier, 2.8 Essie Mag Magbagor. These are the numbers. These 2.4 from Tierra McGowan, McGowan. She averages two full offensive boards more per game than the next person on the list. That is not because she's such a hawk for the ball on offensive rebounds. That's because she's catching a lot of shots that she misses right back to herself. Again, leave a comment. I'd love to know your thoughts. Once again, thank you so much for your support. Like, subscribe, subscribe and comment and ring that bell. Come on now.